Hi all, uh, welcome back. My name is Praveen Balan. In the previous two videos of the same series of Intune setup, we spoke about Windows enrollment as well as the Android enrollment. And today in this video, we're going to speak about iOS or iPad OS enrollment, wherein we talk about the enrollment of devices by user driven approach. Uh, like the Android devices, this is also covers in three different steps. So these three major steps goes this way. Get the Apple MDM push certificate from Apple and second add the required application from the App Store and the third the conditional access. So we'll start with the get an Apple MDM push certificate and upload that Apple MDM push certificate into the Intune Endpoint Manager and then we go for the next step. Uh, open the Endpoint Manager Admin Center and under devices go to iOS, iPad OS enrollment and then click on Apple MDM push certificate. The wizard is straightforward, very simple, not complicated. Click on I agree and then you will see a CSR, you know, certificate signing request and download the certificate signing request and then we need to uh, go and upload this CSR file into Apple's website. So to upload the CSR into Apple website, we need to have an Apple ID. I usually recommend or I usually follow to use the same account that we used for the Android enrollment so that you don't have to manage multiple account. We anyway created an account for Android enrollment which is which in my case it is cloudgear or got gmail.com. So I have already registered the same Gmail account as an Apple ID so that I can remember it very easily. So now let's get to the MDM push certificate uh, portal and then click on get started agree on it and move forward you know here is where we upload the CSR that we downloaded from Intune admin center or the endpoint manager admin center upload the CSR and that finishes creation of push certificate the MDM push certificate is now ready for download download the push certificate and go back to the endpoint manager admin center Again, if you go to the manage section, you can see that this certificate is only valid for one year. So you need to renew the certificate every year in order to ensure that the, the functionality of Apple enrollment or the iOS, iPad OS enrollment functions without any problem. You just need to upload the downloaded PEM certificate, MDM push certificate into Intune that actually completes the first step. So let's proceed to the step, step number two, which is nothing but adding the required work applications or work apps. So go to apps and click on iOS and iPad OS section and then click on the add button, choose iOS app store and then you have an option to search the required application. And in, the, in, in this case, I'm only adding Outlook just to show you how to add. I can add any number of applications, choose the required OS and let us also set it to show it under the featured application and which devices are supported in this case i have chosen both uh, ios and ipad os category is an optional thing if you want to set it and now wherein we have to target it to a set of uses i am going to use the same users group that we created during the previous video and then click on create once, once a user starts enrolling their iOS or iPad OS device into Intune who are part of the group that we have targeted, they will get these applications. Like I have added the Outlook, you can add any other application that you feel like you want to manage it on the devices which are enrolled. The next step is to create a conditional access. I'm just running it through very fast because we discussed a quite bit of information about conditional access in the previous video in case if you wish to listen to them again you can go back to the other video the part 2 video I have given the link for the part 2 video part of the description below so this conditional access policy will enforce the end user to enroll their devices before they can access any work applications now let us see the experience of an end user from the iPad OS device and the experience goes the same for iOS device uh, like for example iPhone as well so let me log out to make the process faster and then let me try to log in again and see how we experience the difference 
I'm trying to log in back again with the same user. This iOS.user is part of the MEM group that we have targeted and it is now forcing us to enroll the devices. So when you click on continue, it will direct us to the app store and get the company portal application and then proceed with the enrollment of iOS device or the iPad OS device and it is pretty straightforward. Couple of steps are there like you know it will review the policy and then so the downloading of profile is started and then you'll have to install the profile which is downloaded. Let's go back to the settings and you can see that profile is downloaded install it and then once it is done come back to the company portal application and click on continue and now it will check the required settings if you have created any compliance policy or anything now we haven't enforced much of the settings it just taken us into the uh, company portal application where we can see the work application that we published the process of enrolling an iOS or iPad OS devices is pretty straightforward. You will also start receiving the application which are required for your work profile. Now when you open the Teams again, now we are able to open it because it's already registered and check the compliance requirement according to the company policies. Now let's get back to the Endpoint Manager Admin Center and see if this device which is enrolled now in the portal or not. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. You have to wait and once you see it, you can see most of the information about the devices. So now this was the third video in the same series of Intune setup for a different device enrollment Windows, Android and iOS iPad we covered. We have to cover the Mac OS. Did you like the video? If then do not forget to subscribe the channel so that you get notified on the similar videos in the future. And in case if you have any queries, don't hesitate to write it as a comment. And I also recommend you to share your experience as a comment that can benefit the others who's going to watch this video. And with that note, it is time for us to wind up today and I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, this is Praveen Balan signing off. Bye.